A mix-up by federal prosecutors suggests criminal charges may have been filed against WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. An unsealed court document with Assange's name raises new questions about the investigation of WikiLeaks' role in exposing thousands of emails from Democrats before the 2016 election. Jonathan Vigliotti is outside Ecuador's embassy in London, Assange's home for the last six years. Jonathan, good morning. Good morning, John. And Assange has remained inside this embassy in large part out of fear that if he were to leave, he'd be extradited to the U.S. Those fears perhaps confirmed this morning after what appears to be a simple mix up of paperwork. This apparent indictment came to light late last night through a court filing in an unrelated sex crimes case. It appears U.S. federal prosecutors accidentally conflated two cases because their filing abruptly changes course on the second page, referring to the publicity surrounding the case and revealing the fact that Assange had been charged. The U.S. Attorney's Office confirmed to us the court filing was, quote, made in error. The disclosure comes as the special counsel, Robert Mueller, is investigating whether President Trump or his associates colluded with Russia during the 2016 election. Assange's WikiLeaks published thousands of emails that year that Russian hackers stole from the Democratic Party. Assange has been holed up in the Ecuadorian embassy since 2012 in a desperate attempt to initially avoid extradition to Sweden on rape charges, which have now been dropped. His Lawyer says the government bringing criminal charges against his client for publishing truthful information is, quote, a dangerous path for a democracy to take. Now, we have reached out to the Department of Justice to get some clarification on these charges if they exist. And, Gail, at this point, they have not reached back out to us. All right. Jonathan Vigliotti on the case in London. Thank you.